see it coming when they were upstairs. Okay. When I saw, when I saw, when they revealed the gimp, That's I knew, I knew, knew. something was going to be off. I didn't know where the film was. Nobody okay. knew where the film was going to go. Nobody. I don't think anybody guessed that. <laughs> but, um, but I knew he, I knew he was a submissive. I knew he was a See, submissive because he had a chain on his uh he had the uh I, I believe he was tied up at the top. He was he had a chain on his neck, right? And so although he was in a space where he could move around, he was also chained up. He so that let and he was chained up in a basement on top of that. Mm. So that let me know that he was already in a submissive space. Voluntarily? Voluntarily. Or? Really? Definitely. That's interesting. I never saw it there. <laughs> yeah, I but mean that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, so you kind of, so you knew after seeing that what they were going to do with Marcellus's character. I felt like I didn't know that it was going to turn out the way that it did, but I knew that there was about to be something a little kinky involved okay, because okay. we're looking at a submissive. My only question was, could it have been somebody that they took and held there and kept there and kind of made that person into the person that we saw. But I definitely, because he's chained up. He's chained up. He's yeah. chained up. And we see what happens after that, right? Mm -hmm. But I know that he's in a submissive position because he's not free to roam as he chooses. Mm -hmm. That lets me know he's in a submissive position. But no you matter also what. say it is, is voluntary submissive. I think it's voluntary because he says, watch over him. And he's like, he kind of rises. Even though he's chained up, he kind of comes up and it's like, yeah. you know, I got authority over you. But I don't have authority over them. Got gotcha. you. That, it, it that, that makes that, me feel like he was a submissive. Yeah. It was that type of vibe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. So <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. So Butch's character is is tied up in a chair mm -hmm. with the gimp right. watching over him. Yep. Marcellus's character is with the two, two racist guys, the cop and the other guy. And you hearing all this stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And it's just horrible sounds so to just say that it's a lot of sounds going on in the other room to where even butch's character is like oh hell no i got to get up out of here because i kind of know what's going on, on in, in there, there. yeah <laughs> yeah and the gimp was looking at him kind of like laughing or smiling like you're next mm -hmm. so <laughs> mm -hmm. you're next but to his testament butch is a fighter yeah. Which is like, oh, Which I'm not going out like that. He's not like going that. out like that. <laughs> Definitely not. not. You're going to have to kill me, but I'm not going to wait for them to come in here and get me. So he fought through it and got, got loose and knocks out the gimp. Yeah. Totally knocks him out. Going back to what you were saying about, about the, the hotel room scene, you got to humanize him and find out that he was more than just a boxer because we see that in this final act where he could have left Marcellus. Absolutely. He Absolutely. was at the front door. He could have just walked out Absolutely. and lived his life. And he, in the film, he thinks about it. And he thinks he about thinks it. He thinks about it. And he and he pauses. And I love the fact that yeah. he paused. Uh -huh. He was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not uh -huh. gonna. I already did the dude dirty. Uh -huh. I took the man money. Yeah. I did him dirty already. I just ran him over. Yeah. I'm not gonna let him go out like that. Like it was almost like a, a man to man respect. As a man, I can't let him go out like that. Marcellus is a stand-up dude. He got a wife. No, he's a solid dude. He's a real right. brother. Right. I'm not gonna let them continue because they was already violating him. So they were, but late. I don't think Butch thought that. You don't think so? I don't. I think that Butch heard the grunts and the, the noise from the room. Mm -hmm. But if you really think about the sound, it almost sounds like they're beating him or killing oh, him. Oh, you think so, that he was you think he thought he was getting beat? I think he oh, okay. I think he's thinking in his mind, like if I leave him here. They're going to kill him. Oh, they're right? definitely going to kill him. But he was there. He was going to kill him initially before yeah, they intervened, <laughs> right? So I think in his mind, it's like, he's the enemy, but they're the greater enemy, right? Because him and Marcellus yes. got some history, they have history together. These are some strangers that essentially would have killed him too yes. in the event that they would have had the opportunity. So when he breaks down in that room, in all honesty, I don't think that he knows that that's the violation that's occurring. I think he hears the sound. He's like, what the heck's going on in there? And he goes to leave and he's like, nah, wait a minute. And I think he's busting in to save them. I just don't necessarily think he knows what he's going to be saving them. Maybe that's from. why he pushed the doors Sl just slowly. Slowly, yeah. You know, because yeah. he, did, he didn't he know, didn't what, know was what was going, going on, on there. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that, you might be right. That's what I'm he, thinking. That's why he just gently went in there <laughs> after he grabs the sword. And he grabbed the sword. Yeah. And he went in there. And that was a scene I had never expected to see. I was like, I never expected to see that, to see Marcellus getting violated like that by those two guys. Nice. And, but. Oh, it was cold. But, it was cold. <laughs> but to Butch's credit, 
He just wasn't gonna let him go out like no. that. No matter no what matter our what. past was, dude, I'm not letting you, I'm not letting them keep doing you like that. Because first of all, they're gonna kill you when they get done. Yeah. <laughs> you, they're not gonna let you go. Absolutely. You're a black man from LA. Mm-hmm. You're gonna come back and try to kill them. Mm-hmm. They're definitely gonna end your life right. after this act of sexual whatever. Right. So, and I think in his mind, he processed that and was like, you know, outweighing the good and the bad. You know, I have made money with this man. We do have a history, like you said. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and save you. And maybe he'll give me some grace. Grace, right. Which he which did. He did. Yeah. Which he did. Right. So it turned out to be a good thing. Right. So Butch slices the first man. The first man is sitting there looking like, licking his chops, just waiting right. for his turn. Waiting for his turn. Weird, like the, and he had the close up on his a face. Close up on his face. face sweating, like, oh, right, yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, like, I'm next. <laughs> I was God. like, this is weird. It's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> it's hard for a yeah, black man. Brutal, man. To me, to just watch it, I'm it just like, brutal. oh, my God. I can't imagine going through this. Yeah. So he, so Butch slices him, kills yep. him. The cop, Gun is right next to him, clearly mm-hmm. like two feet away, mm-hmm. maybe less. And he's like, go ahead and reach for it. Go mm-hmm. ahead and reach for it. The cop is scared to reach for it. But while this is going on, Marcellus has picked up a shotgun. And he says, move out the way, Butch. I got it from here. <laughs> and he didn't hesitate to shoot him. At immediately. All. Immediately. But he, did, but he, he sh- didn't shoot to kill him. He didn't shoot to kill him. That's important. He did not <laughs> shoot to kill him. That's very important. Like, no, no, we're going we gonna to do some things with you. Way worse, way worse than what than you we, did to me. Yeah. <laughs> way worse. So he uh he shoots a guy with a shotgun in in, in the region where yeah, it's gonna hurt. Right. <laughs> so the guy's down there crying now. Now he's crying because he hurt, he bleeding out. And Butch says, So we good? We good? Yeah. And yeah. He we like, good. yeah, we yeah good. but here's a stipulation. Yeah. You can't ever talk about this, mm-hmm. and you have to leave LA and you can never come back. Which to Butch, he was like, I was gonna do that anyway. <laughs> exactly. I was never gonna come back. 